The human eye is an incredible tool. This allows us to see the world that surrounds us. However, its vision is very limited because we can only see a very tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum which is often known as the visible spectrum. But beyond what our eyes can perceive, a much larger world remains hidden and that can be seen through the eyes of remote sensing. Whether you want to see through the night sky or the clouds, there is always a solution in microwave remote sensing. Due to climate change and other factors, we are seeing some of the harshest floods of our time, leading to torrential flooding that means streets and houses remain underwater. Leading millions of people displaced from their homes. We also can't see a very big picture of the situation in real time because monsoon weather at times leads to shutting down of airports, making it harder for planes, drones and helicopters to fly because of unfavorable weather conditions. And also due to the cloud covering, the traditional satellite images also become useless because they can show nothing. And thus comes in the picture radar, that is microwave remote sensing. This kind of remote sensing sends off waves that bounce off objects and returns, much like an echo. And by analyzing these echoes, a radar creates a picture of the world around it. It is used everywhere from air traffic control to self-driving cars there are satellites like the sentinel n1 that use radars to scan the earth day and night whether it's cloud smoke or darkness these images provide critical data for scientists, government and industries. Whether you are monitoring deforestation in the forests or measuring the carbon stored in the forests, radar helps us understand changes that is happening across the planet. It can also see subsurface using the echoes received by the radar. For disaster monitoring, these images help track floods, earthquakes and even volcanic activity. So by comparing images before and after a disaster, scientists can assess the damage and guide recovery efforts. Microwave remote sensing is also transforming agriculture and climate monitoring. The farmer track crop growth, detect droughts 
and optimize irrigation. Radar can even help track ice movements in the Arctic and Antarctic, giving scientists a crucial tool to monitor climate change. A very fascinating use of radar is measuring how the ground moves. This is using a technique which is known as interferometry. A radar can detect even the slightest ground shifts. This helps us monitor earthquakes and detect land subsidence in sinking cities like those in Indonesia. So now that we are done with what a microwave remote sensing is, let's see some other aspects.